The new Bay Bridge will have a lifespan of 150 years, twice as long as any other traditional bridge. To ensure that lifespan, five moving scaffolds, known as travelers, were constructed. It's a long bridge, 2,047 feet, with changing geometric requirements. So five travelers will be required, including one smaller one just for the bridge's 15 and a half foot wide bicycle and pedestrian path. The other travelers are huge. One of them is 20 feet tall. The longest is 16 feet wide and 119 feet long. They will be suspended from tracks beneath the bridge, providing safe access to workers for routine bridge inspections, repairs, and painting operations. Crews will move the travelers by using pneumatic power from air compressors located in Oakland and on Yerba Buena Island. They will be able to move 20 feet per minute heading west and 50 feet per minute heading east. They are designed to capture debris like paint chips, sandblasting grit, and paint over spray to prevent that material from falling into the bay. And they were all fabricated here in Santa Fe Springs in Southern California by Westmont Industries, the company that does heavy custom steel work for the U.S. Department of Defense, Boeing, General Electric, Rolls-Royce, and Walt Disney. Shipping these five travelers took months of planning. They were too big to move on the interstate highway. They had to use city streets. And this was the complicated zigzag route that state and county officials mapped. 20 miles of travel over five nights with 21 turns past hot power lines and without toppling city turn signals. One of the travelers was so tall they had to use this conveyor with eight sets of articulating wheels so that in transit they could raise and lower the traveler like a game of steel doing the limbo. All five travelers arrived without mishap to the port of Long Beach and a few days later sailed into San Francisco Bay under the existing Bay Bridge and finally to Pier 7. Over the next few months, they'll be raised and connected to the underdeck of the new Bay Bridge to begin their 150 year job assignment. On the new Bay Bridge, Mark Jones reporting.